you can cut your own hair. So guys, I wanted to make this video because I think that in our society, there's certain habits and belief systems that randomly get ingrained into the minds of the people. And one of them is that you can't cut your own hair, that you're inept at it, you can't do it, and that you have to hire it out and pay someone to cut your hair throughout the course of your life. So the reason why I do this YouTube channel and what inspires me about making videos is to be a voice outside of the box. There is absolutely nothing wrong with paying someone to cut your hair and it works for most people and it's maybe a good idea for a lot of people, but I wanna make this video to tell you that yes, you can cut your own hair and there's all these crazy benefits that come out of doing that. For myself, I've been cutting my own hair exclusively for the past five years and I've gone from having very short hair to now having long hair and I may go back to having short hair. So I've gone through all that whole process cutting it myself. I've saved six, $700, it's kind of hard to calculate. And I've been able to have creative control over my hair, cut it as much as possible whenever I want, and I've been able to feel confident about the way that I look ever since I started cutting my own hair. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how easy it is to cut your own hair and the incredible benefits of cutting your own hair. So my story was that I was probably like most little kids, you know, my dad cut my hair when I was growing up and then I reached a certain age where it was just accepted and understood that I would start going to salons and getting my hair cut. And throughout that time, when I was in between haircuts, I would always look in the mirror and cut my hair with like random scissors that you would use to cut paper, just because I found it fun and interesting to kind of shape my hair. But I probably wasn't the most coordinated and it probably didn't look very good. But when I was in college, like most people, I was trying to save as much money as possible. And one day towards my senior year, I started thinking like, why am I paying 25 or 20 or $30 to get my hair cut? So I went on Amazon and I purchased a pair of $25 clippers, which I'll link in the description below, um, which are really helpful for guys when you have short hair to be able to shave like the back and the sides of your head and then to use scissors, which came in the, the kit to cut the top of your hair. So I started cutting my own hair and I literally have not paid for a haircut since then and it's been about five years. And like anything, you get better at it the more you go throughout the process. But what I instantly noticed is that I started cutting my hair way more often and my hair kept on getting better and better. So when I used to pay for haircuts, I would go two or three months usually, probably about three months usually in between haircuts. So my hair would start to look a little bit awkward. And every time I got a haircut, I never liked the way it looked for the first one or two weeks. Um, and so after it grew for a little bit, then I settled into it and really started liking my hair. But it always took one or two weeks for me to like my hair. And it, yeah, it never was really ideal. So the benefits of cutting your own hair are that you actually have full creative control. So throughout this whole time period, I've always been experimenting with different styles and the way that my hair looked. And what I found is that whenever I cut my hair, I always cut it to the length or the style that I'm looking for. So I feel confident and happy with it immediately afterwards. On top of that, you can really take your time with cutting your hair. So oftentimes, if I'm not really sure what I'm doing, I basically will just cut a little bit of my hair and then stop and clean up and put my stuff away and go walk around for a few days. And when I see a mirror, I'll look in it or I'll ask someone's opinion and then I'll decide later, hey, do I wanna cut more of this or is this how I want it? And then on top of that, when you're in between different haircuts, I think that for me, especially when I was growing my hair out to having long hair, you definitely go through different awkward stage periods where it maybe doesn't look the best. And it's usually because you have different parts of your hair that are uneven or sticking out. And so once you have the confidence to cut your own hair, you can just trim your hair in those different areas. And it, it's just really easy to go throughout that process. And now I know if you're a girl and you're watching this video, you might have a lot of objections to this. And I've talked to a lot of girls about this subject and most of them, I have met a lot of girls that do cut their own hair, but a lot of girls say, hey, cutting hair for girls is totally different. There's layers, it's really complicated, and it's more difficult. And truthfully, for me, I think that it's easier to cut longer hair than it is to cut shorter hair. So from growing my hair out, and I've had it longer than this at different points, um, it's just a lot easier because there's less room for error because you have longer hair. So you can make mistakes, you can experiment more, and it's gonna be a lot harder to mess your hair up if you have longer hair than if you have shorter hair. But both ways are pretty easy. 
And so right now where I'm at with my hair is that I'm actually trying to make it look more professional and a little bit more neat for a number of different reasons. So over the past month, I've cut my hair twice so far already. And today I'm gonna cut a little bit more to see if I can try to keep it still long but have it in a professional state that I like it in. Or I might actually end up cutting my hair all the way short, in which case I'll hopefully film a video for the YouTube channel. But like I said, there is just so many benefits to cutting your own hair, mainly that you're saving lots of money, you have creative control, you gain confidence, and you can really look better and cut your hair more often to look exactly the way you want to with your hair. So in the description below, I've linked the exact clippers and scissors that I use to cut my own hair. And I've also linked a pair of just scissors for girls if you don't need clippers, if you have longer hair that are $8 that you can use to stop paying for haircuts um, and to start saving money and cutting your own hair. Guys, I hope you guys like this video. Please comment below if you cut your own hair or what you think about this subject. And definitely if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.